21 years ago, three people disappeared. On the Irish Night of the Dead. Samhain. So cool. So the first thing I need to start with, and it's probably the most important thing, uh, MacGruber, when did you become such a good actor? <laughs> well, I think it was uh, in 15 years from now. That's when I start to become a good actor. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to work in MacGruber somehow. <laughs> Thank you. I, you know what? I, I always talk about MacGruber and how if it was up to me, I would just do MacGruber for the rest of my life and be happy. Um, nobody, I don't think anybody would give us the opportunity to do that. But this is another thing like that. The, like, Bodkin has been such an amazing experience getting to work with these turkeys and, and just... <laughs> Uh, the entire crew and cast were just awesome. Ireland was amazing, so I could just go on doing Bodkin forever. So I'm hoping people go out and see it so we can keep hanging out with all these wonderful mm -hmm. friends. Well, one of the things about the ending of the series is that for all three of you, what's great is that you all have like tremendous character gr growth through the seven episodes. So can you sort of talk about um, your reaction to the ending and where your character each ends up? So Emmy's at the start, she's very, this is her first time out in the field. She's really keen to please both of these two. And yeah, I think she goes on a really, a really big journey where she kind of takes control of her life a little bit more. She kind of knows what she wants at the end and kind of demands it, mm. which is really cool. Mm. Mm. And for Dove, when we first meet her, she's going through a career crisis, a personal crisis. And throughout the season, it's nearly like therapy for her. She's kind of faced, she's forced to face um, all the kind of the, the damage that she's had in her childhood and forced to kind of question the, the stories she's been telling herself about herself, what that's made her the way she is. And um and that's quite a confronting and challenging thing, I think, for anyone to do, but particularly for Dove, who's quite a, a stubborn, a stubborn character. Well, before you go, Will, I'm going to ask you about Dove. I want to get specific. So one of the things is she's lost her job at the newspaper and essentially might be now a podcaster. Do you think she ends up as a podcaster? Maybe a reluctant podcaster. Yeah. No, I, I mean, would I get the job? Oh, would you get the no, job? No, would I get the, if, if I interviewed for you as a podcaster? <laughs> oh, still. yes, of course. That's still. never been, yeah. It's more just, would you let yourself take the job? Yeah. 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 No, I don't think so. No. Yeah, I don't, I don't think, think so either. So. <laughs> so like, why am I going to expend energy trying to, you know. Train me up. Except that you're yeah. fantastic. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Will, I want to ask you specifically. So at the end, Gilbert throws his recorder into the water. I don't know if it's a lake or part connected to the ocean. I'm not sure. But what do you think he does next? Or is it one of these things where you don't want to answer because maybe it will continue? I think he jumps into the water and goes and <laughs> fishes it. He's like, what did I do? What did I do? <laughs> and then just jumps in. Uh, and uh, no, I, I don't know. There is who Gilbert wants to be and who he really is. And I feel like those people kind of toward the end merge a little bit. And the, you know, who he aspires to be kind of, they just, they meet toward the end. And he's a little more honest about uh, where he is in his life and, and you know, what, what it, the, the, the power of his actions, you know, like mm -hmm. what, what, how his mm -hmm. actions affect other people. And yeah. so, so um, I don't know. I think he could learn that lesson without throwing the recorder into the water, but that's what we did. <laughs> I, I was actually wondering about that decision just to have the anyway but that's just me um i had no idea eels were so black market so you know. did, is this something that you also learned uh, for the three of you yeah i learned I so that, much yeah. about eels yeah. on this job yeah. which was <laughs> not real, expected you wouldn't a think real it. surprise yeah. a real curveball to yeah. I, I didn't realize i'd be learning so much about about eels <laughs> um they're fascinating yeah there are so many we don't know yeah. about eels. Yeah. Yeah. Like we still haven't learned yeah. how eels yeah. mate. I, yeah. They can live on land. It's it's wild. Yeah. Um, they, that, that reminds me though, this has, I mean, I guess it tangentially has to do with eels, but <laughs> uh, uh, Siobhan, I kept wanting to call you Dove. Um, 
Siobhan would always be the one who would have to get yes. into the water and just be subjected yeah. to all these really cold <laughs> things. And, and we're just like, watching we're that. We're just like, sitting Ooh. there in our warm clothes. <laughs> and she like has to get down to like, what yeah. was it? Like a tank top and yeah. your underwear and just slowly. And it get was like slowly going into the water on a very cold day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you're... Ooh. An eel. You were, I know it. Yeah, pretty impressive to, to watch. <laughs> I actually badass. wanted to ask you specifically about that bog sequence. Yes. When you read that in the script and then you show up on set and see what you're going to be doing, how much are you like, oh, this is not going to be fun? Do you know, I love that stuff. I, I, I also love, I love kind of sea swimming and cold water swimming and stuff. So um, anytime you get to do, I think, any kind of stunt or fight choreography or swimming in a bog, I think it's a just a cool opportunity because to get to do that for work is yeah. kind of brilliant and um and it's always done safely and you've loads of people minding you so it's 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 fun it's brilliant. But by the way, I love sea swimming and I make it a point to go in and do that as much as possible and I still on that day was like, yeah, oh, I'm, I'm so single. thankful that yeah, it's her and not me. <laughs> me I'm going to do this. Something else I did not know until I watched this series was road bowling. Oh, road bowling. I yeah. yeah. Yes. I, I had no idea about this. So what is the secret to being, maybe you learned, what is the secret to being good at road bowling and had you heard of this sport before? Never heard of it, but we actually had yeah. the, was he the champion? We had something yeah. like the the, the champion road, road bowler. bowler on set with yeah. us. Um, and he's in he's in the show. The yeah. guys that you see throwing the, the, the ball are, yeah. are, are are real like champion yeah. road bowlers. Yeah. So they were uh well, they were they great were to great. watch. It seems like you just need a really oh, strong sh- arm. Yeah. And a bit of patience. <laughs> it really well, did seem like a very fun. Yeah. I, I do want to go and actually do, yeah, do, yeah. do an actual one. Yeah. 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 The three of you, I'm sure you've been asked this before, but um, true crime podcasts and like the like the datelines and everything, they're just all so popular right now. Um, what do you think it is about that genre that resonates with so many people? And part two is, did you listen to one or two specific things prior to the shoot. Yeah, people love true crime. Yeah. Um and and I yeah. include myself among them. I think it's um I think it's something so so fascinating when you realize that that it's true. Yeah, yeah, fact can be stranger than fiction and to to hear those real life stories is is you know, it can be kind of a a dark and mm. sick fascination in us, but we're all kind of drawn to them. Um I, for one, listen to a lot of podcasts. Um, some of them are true crime, for sure. I listen to a lot of Serial. And um, what other good ones do I like? That's the West Cork. Oh, West Cork one. itself yeah. is brilliant. Yeah. That The podcast called West Cork. Um, yeah, I love it. I don't know. Yeah. What about you guys? Yeah. I listen to a bit of Serial as well. It wasn't for me. true. I don't know why. I couldn't get on board with a true crime podcast. It's yeah, a bit scary. scary. It's a bit I scary. mean, I, I did. I, I also... <laughs> Uh, listen to serial, but but I this this isn't a podcast, but I do watch a ton of forensics files. <laughs> I just get sucked you into those. I like while I'm doing the dishes <laughs> late at night or something, and I just yeah. And I I think there's p- also part of it that's like, oh my god, think it like it makes you feel yeah. Yeah, like good about your own yeah. life. Like oh, I haven't been murdered, so I'm um I'm, I'm like you know yeah. a step above. You know, it could things could be worse. Yeah, I could be murdered by somebody I thought loved me. You're so lucky to be doing the dishes. <laughs> always the spouse. It's <laughs> always the spouse. I have to stop. I'm just going to say congrats on the series, and I really do hope it's a huge hit for you guys. Oh, thank, thank you, you very so much. much. Thank you. Cool. Thank you. Good Bye. luck. Bye.